Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, I will show you how to take Active Directory database backup. So before we proceed for taking Active Directory database backup, we have to install Windows Server backup feature on our server manager. So let's get started. We will open server manager. We will click on add roles and features. We will click on next. We'll select role base or feature based installation click on next we'll click on next next again and in select feature wizard we'll go down and we will check the box windows server backup and click on next and click on install as you can see our installation process has started Okay friends, so as you can see, Windows Server Backup feature is successfully installed on our dc.captechpro.local. We will click on Close. Now we will click on Tools. Select Windows Server Backup. Click on Local Backup. So as you can see, it is saying Reading Data, please wait. Okay, so now we'll click on backup once. Schedule backup option is gray out because we are taking backup once. We'll click on next. We want system state backup, so we'll click on custom and click on next. Click on add items, select system state and we'll click on OK. As you can see, system state is selected click on advanced settings click on VSS settings and we want VSS full backup this option if you are not using any product to backup application this option updates a backup history each file and clears the application log file click on OK and next now if we want our backup to store in local drive select this and if we, if we have a remote shared folder we will check this box select remote shared box if we have a remote shared folder so we'll go with local drives we'll click on next and I have created one volume with the name of AD backup by default it is selected we will click on next and we'll click on backup So as you can see system state backup has started creating shadow copies or volume. So as you can see our system state backup has started. So it is finding our file. So as you can see in status it is saying files found to include in the system backup state. So friends as you can see our backup is in progress. So I will pause the video and once the backup will finish I will resume. So as you can see the status is completed data transferred is 11.41 GB and item is system state so friends as you can see our backup has successfully created of our active directory we'll click on close and on our drive let me show you the drive AD backup will open this window image backup DC so you can see this is our backup these are the files of our backup so friends you have seen we have successfully created our active directory backup and in next video we will delete few OUs and user inside our OUs and computers we will delete few things from our active directory and we will try to restore them using this backup so guys stay tuned if you like my video do give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and thanks for watching.